And we're going to wrap up tonight by paying tribute to someone who is a big part of this program, legendary theater critic John Simon. Mr. Simon's passed away at the age of 94. He was known for his scathing criticism of both shows and movies in his pieces for New York Magazine, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and so many others. He also hosted RNN's theater review segment, Corner Table, up until the middle of just this year. And to be honest, he didn't like the vast majority of the shows that he saw. Far from it. And that was just John. But he was always smart and he was always funny in his criticism. He's also about the only person I know who didn't like Star Wars. This is what he wrote about it in 1977 when he reviewed it for the New York Magazine. I sincerely hope that science and scientists differ from science fiction and its practitioners. Heaven help us if they don't. We may be headed for a very boring world indeed. Strip Star Wars of its often striking images and its highfalutin scientific jargon, and you get a story, characters, and dialogue of overwhelming banality. So I'm going to wrap up with some of John's greatest hits from Corner Table. It is, by all accounts, a stupid play, but sometimes it rises up to the level of imbecility. There's no doing a fiddler if you don't have a great terrier, and this terrier is anything but great. Uh, he's kind of meager, he's not funny, he's not touching, you don't feel sorry for him. You just don't care about him. I think it's a play about nothing. Agreed. Uh, I, I have looked for meaning in it in various productions, but never did it come across as having any great uh, reason for existence. These um, jukebox musicals are a problem because the numbers that were performed originally by the person, it's always a problem how to make such a thing interesting because those lives were not necessarily spectacular. Mm. But it belongs in a nightclub, not on a stage. I agree. For the ape, you have about maybe eight handlers, mm -hmm. and it's too much. It's like flies on a corpse. You felt that it was scavenged. Mm. It was, the whole show looked like a scavenging job, which it shouldn't. 